Hello everyone, welcome to Scorcher Toys at AnyMoon.com's preview for Toynami's upcoming Robotech Gashapon figures. These figures are being cross-badged with Caliber Toys, a brand new toy company, so it'll be interesting to see how that influences this release. Uh, what we know so far is that these toys will come in a carton of 12. Uh, there will be blind box figures within that carton. We don't know kind of the distribution of it. Uh, there's allegedly going to be a chase figure, but for now we know that there is a VF-1A Max, a VF-1J Miria, a VF-1S Foker, a Hikaru Pilot figure, a Tomahawk Destroid figure, and a Battle Pod figure. So we'll see if Toynami makes any announcements about other figures soon. You'll notice that they're all from the Macross Saga. Uh, interesting that something celebrating Robo Robotech's 30th anniversary didn't give us uh, some her heroes from the other sagas, but maybe that means there will be more different Gashapon series to come. This is the event-exclusive San Diego Comic-Con VF-1S Gray Foker toy. There will also be a white version that is a standard release. Uh, as this was an event exclusive, it came in a package that had a clear window to let you see the goods inside. Unlike the blind boxes, we will be receiving later. There's nothing else in the box. There's no instructions. There's no uh, extra accessories. It is just the figure with the gun pod attached to the arm, as you see here. All right, so here is the toy. The toy is made of several parts that have been glued completely together. So there is absolutely no articulation of which to speak. Uh, it's just a little statue. It seems to be made out of fairly decent plastic, and since nothing's articulated, you'll have no reason to test that theory. Uh, there are a few things that I wasn't too keen on. One, the Jolly Roger is puffy. It's kind of a recurring Toynami theme. I'm not sure why they do that, and I'm not a big fan. Uh, two, the head laser, or head arrow, is yellow. Should be black. Yellow would be appropriate if this was a Do You Remember Love toy from Macross, but this is supposed to be celebrating Robotech's 30th anniversary, so that doesn't really make sense. Another item were the rounded forearms. Looks like the toy is wearing the GBP gauntlet, gauntlets, but it's not, so they should be squared off, so I'm not really sure. Maybe that's just part of the whole super deformed aspect of things. Uh, I also don't like the way the shoulders are trapped between the chest and the back. Since it's not an articulated toy, and that doesn't really matter, but it looks a little silly. But then again, this is a super deformed toy, and looking silly is kind of what it's supposed to do. So it'll be up to you if any of those minor quibbles bother you. So as far as what to look forward to, uh, little statues. Little cute statues. Uh, little cute expensive statues. So uh, we will see what the future holds. I will be back with an in-depth review of the whole series when it's available. Check out AnyMoon.com. Thanks for viewing.